Welcome to PG Cast, a production of HashRocket. My name is Josh Branchot. If you've ever wondered what's going on behind the scenes when you declare a column with the serial data type, then this episode's for you. Now, if you've been working with Postgres for at least a little while, you're probably used to seeing tables created with an ID column using the serial keyword. You know, something like this. You know, we often see it with an ID column. Now, in this episode, I want to take a look at that serial data type and explore what it is that happens when we define a column as serial. So let's remove the primary key part because we just want to focus on serial. And then we'll also add a regular counter integer column for comparison. So that created our table. This is a user's table with an ID column and a counter column, and we can see what that looks like. The first thing we'll notice is that our ID column gets a type of integer, just like the counter column. Whereas we explicitly declared counter as an integer, serial implicitly sets ID as an integer. This is because the serial data type is an auto-incrementing integer. The next thing we'll notice is that serial gives the ID column a bunch of modifiers that the counter column doesn't get. Write these things right here. For one, it is not null. The ID column should always have an integer in it, so we have it as not null. Uh, we also see it gets a default value. This is the auto-incrementing part. The default value is the next val function called on the user ID seek. This ensures that we have unique, monotonically increasing values for our ID column. Every time we insert into the users table, the default value for ID will be the next value in that sequence. This, of course, assumes that we always let the ID be set to its default value. OK, so our default value is based on a sequence, but where does that sequence come from? Because I don't remember creating one. Well, if we look at the objects in our database, we'll see that there is a sequence defined. When we declare the ID column is serial, a sequence was created for us. Postgres named the sequence based off of the name of the table and the name of the column hence user's ID seek. If we do a couple inserts into the table, we can see the effects of next val being called on this sequence. Now we'll just insert values for the counter and we'll let the default value take effect for the ID column. Fix that typo. There, we have three, three rows inserted. Now we can take a look at the contents of our table. So the sequence starts at one and counts up from there for each record. At this point, we should now have a better idea of what happens when we declare a column as serial. So until next time, thanks for watching.